Decades. So let, let's talk about the S&P 500. When it all goes wrong and it all goes terrible and you have the global financial crisis, the GFC, the S&P 500 only dropped 50%. So the statistical probability of you enduring the worst possible thing of a 50% drawdown more than gets canceled out by the most bullish up and to the right chart imaginable. Even if you thought that everything was gonna crash, Bayesian logic would still indicate that you should still be long anyway and just hold through it. Because everyone that has ever bet on the stock market That's, crashing has that, been that wrong has because they print money track. to get out of it. That has worked just print our money. Time, Richard, which is great. But I will say that if you look back in the 1950s, you had 10, 20 years of stagnating stock market prices. And we will see that again in our lifetime. There's no way. It might not start no tomorrow. It might They're literally doing years, helicopter money, brother. But it doesn't mean that stocks They're and mailing people checks. And everything in the planet and hex go straight up forever. Brother, they don't. Everything is at all-time highs. Everything is at all-time highs. This is obvious, but look, look okay, Correct. let's not and talk that's about why, macro. That's why you shouldn't be buying everything. That's exactly my point. I left it out and it was at zero. Apple at 20 cents, Google at $35, Facebook at 20 bucks. That's when I like You're gonna get left behind. I don't like them now. You're gonna get left behind like everyone that's ever tried to call the top. It is statistically improbable that you called the top.